Hello everyone, I'm Brent. Welcome to my channel, Techie Be Trash. We'll be discussing about various technology related stuff. We'll be discussing about different programming skills and techniques and various latest technology news. Part of this, I'm going to start a new series in which we'll be discussing about all the Python basics. This series will be about 10 to 15 videos long. And with this series, you can learn Python in about a month. So let's get started. So in this video, we'll be going over the introduction to Python and we'll be covering the following topics. Python, the creator of Python, why you should learn Python, the uses of Python, and different famous companies that use Python. So, let's get started. Now, what exactly is Python? Python is a high-level, general-purpose, interpreted programming language. Interpreted, what does that mean? Now, the computer cannot understand the right code that we write. It understands the machine language, zeros and ones. So, an interpreter basically converts the code that we write into the machine language line by line. There are other programming languages such as C and Java, which are compiled programming languages. Now they use a compiler instead of an interpreter. What a compiler does is it reads a whole code and then converts the whole code into the machine language at a time, while the interpreter converts it line by line. That's the difference. And a thing that I noticed is that people get overwhelmed while learning Python, while beginning to learn Python, because they think it's a hard programming language. But in fact, it's quite the opposite. It's a really beginner friendly programming language because it emphasizes on code readability with the notable use of significant indentation. As you can see in the example down here, in Java, we use these curly braces to mark the beginning and the ending of a function or a while loop. While in Python, we use indentation. Now, the indentation makes the program easy to read both for the users and also the programmers. Now, who's the creator of Python? Python was first released in 1991 by Guido van Rossum. He was born in Netherlands where he completed his masters. He first started coding for Python in the December of 1989. The name Python was taken from a show, Monty Python's The Flying Circus, which van Rossum was a huge fan of. This is the man behind Python. You can see over here. Now, why should you learn Python? Why only Python? Why not learn other languages such as C and Java? That's because Python is really easy to learn. It is one of the most accessible programming languages because it has very simplified syntax and it's not complicated. And due to its ease of learning, Python codes can be easily written and executed much faster than other programming languages. And Python also allows you to write huge programs with fewer lines of code. It's awesome, isn't it? This is the reason why it's preferred by beginners since it gives a lot of functionality in a simple manner. What are the uses of Python? In what fields is Python used? Python is used in many different fields, but these are the major ones. In web development. Now, frameworks such as Django and Flask make web development in Python really simple and it's super flexible. They also provide security, scalability, and convenience. If you compare it to starting the development of a website, from scratch 
and also game development. There are libraries such as PySoy, which is the 3D game development engine written in Python, and Pygame, which supports functionality. Pygame is also a library for game development. Now, machine learning and AI. Python is widely used in machine learning and AI. There are many existing libraries that help beginners get started in machine learning and AI, such as TensorFlow, Kiwi, sorry, not Kiwi. Kiwi is graphical user interface, actually. Sorry about that. TensorFlow, NumPy, etc. Now, data science and data visualization. Libraries such as Panda, NumPy, they help in extracting information. You can even visualize the data using libraries such as matplotlib, which show graphs according to the data that you input. Now, for the companies which use Python. There are many companies which use Python, but these are the most famous ones which you most likely know. The first one is Google. Google has been a great supporter of Python ever since the very beginning. They explain that they use Python for its ease of maintenance and relatively faster delivery. And also Facebook. The engineers at Facebook are keen supporters of Python, making it the third largest popular language in the social media chain. And the famous social media platform, Instagram. In 2016, Instagram boasted that they were running the world's largest da uh, website on Django, which is written entirely in Python. And there are services like Netflix and Spotify. These services use Python, the backend. They collect the user data and they process the data in machine learning algorithms written in Python to recommend new songs which the user might like and new shows which the user might like. And there's Dropbox. Dropbox is an online storage system, online cloud storage system, which uses Python in its desktop applications. And Dropbox also has its own API, which is coded entirely in Python. Now, there are many other companies which use Python. But these are the most famous ones. So guys, I'm making a series of videos in which I'll be explaining the basics of Python, which help you learn Python in about 10 to 15 videos. With this course, you can learn Python in about a month. So please check out my course and have a nice day. Thank you for watching the video and if you have any doubts, ask in the comment section down below. Please do like, share and subscribe and check out my other videos.